Hello everyone, welcome back with FreeCAD basic 3D modeling tutorial for exercise number 9. Okay, first in here we can create new drawing. You can click here, create new. And we can change into part design. And next you can click create body, create sketch. And I will choose uh, this front plan. You can click OK. Now in here we can create circle. Okay, I will create stuff on this point. We can set for a radius in the circles in 228 the next we can create line start on this point to the top okay move again to here and then to the bottom here now you can use uh, this horizontal dimension to set a dimension in uh, this uh, line object we can set it to 40 and then distance from this point into here center point you can set into 20 the next for height for it uh, vertical dimension from this point into center point you can set into 45 now you can use trim command you can click here trim and I will cut a line object and you can cut this uh, circle object next you can close and to convert this sketch into 3D models, we can use pad tools. You can click here pad. You can change length into 14. You can press enter. The next, you can select up this face. You can create sketch. And I will use uh, this option. You can select up this edge. Now you can create circle. Start from the center point. Move into this point. And then you can click close. In here, we can use pad tools to extrude with extrusion 4 and you can press enter. Now, you also can select this object, add this space, and click models. You can set for refine into true. Click outset here. Okay. The next, we can create hole. You can select up this space, click uh, create sketch in here, and then I will select for this edge. The next you can create a circle from center point into this point and then you can uh, sorry in it we can set for radius in any circle you can set into 16 this is for hole uh, in it we can undo you can create a new circle okay you can click here circle select from the center point and we can set for radius into 16 you can press enter the next click close and to create holes we can use this tools bucket and then we can set length into 20 you can see it will be create hole and you can click ok to apply the next we can select after this face and we can create sketch Okay, in here I will use uh, these tools to select edge. Okay, I will select uh, this edge. The next, we can create a rectangle. Start from this point. Move into this edge. And then you can set for distance in uh, vertical. In here, we can set into 14. Press enter again. You can click close. And now we can use pad tools to convert uh, these objects with uh, length 30. You can click OK to apply. The next, you can select this face and we can create a dentum plan. You can click here, dentum plan. We can move in here, like I will set in Z axis minus 15. So to be move into center point of uh, this box objects, you can click OK. The next, we can use mirror tools. You can click here. And then you can click mirror this uh, icon mirror for objects you can select in here pocket pad one and pad click ok the next for mirror plan you can change in here with the select reference you can select this dentum plan so it will be automatically mirror in uh, the other side you can click ok you also can select uh, this uh, dentum plan right click and we can select for visibility so to be height and the next we can refine uh, these objects into true you can select this face 
change revenge into true. Okay. Now we can draw in a space. We can select and click a quad sketch. In here, I will active for this edge. Also in here, and then I will cut line from this point into here. We can move this line object into middle point in here. You can use this tool, this snap. Okay, and then click from this point into this point. The next, you can click at this point, so it will be automatically move into middle point. Now in here, we can cut rectangle. Click here in here, rectangle tool. Select from this point, this edge into this point. And then we can set for dimension in vertical. We can set into 14. The next distance from center point in it, or we can select from this point into middle point. In here we can set into seven, and you can click OK. So it will be move into center point for uh, this uh, rectangle object. The next you can select this uh, line object and press delete button. You can click close. So we are will create uh, this uh, rectangle tools. The next we can create new sketch. You can click here sketch. And then we can use uh, dentum plan. Click OK. In here I will move or rotate the drawings. Okay, we put that into here. And then in here we can use this tool and I will select after this edge also in here. Okay, now you can create line start from this point, move into here, and then create again, move from this point to the top. Next, we can change four lengths into this line objects with uh, these tools. We can set into 40. Okay. And then I will set for angle from this point into here. You can set into 135 degree. And you can quite again this time for this line objects. You can set in here into 30. Okay. You can click close. Now to convert into 3D models, first we need to select this rectangle objects. You can click models and click cut here, cut for. So it will be automatically select for uh, this rectangle. The next you can use sweep tools. You can click here, this for sweep tools. And then for object, you can select this object. So it will be automatically convert. Then you can click OK to apply. We can select at this first. And then I will create new sketch. In here, we can create circle. You can use uh, these tools. We can select up this edge and then I will create circle. In here, we can set for radius for the circle into 20. And then this 10 from this point into here. We can set this 10 into 20. The next from this point to here, we can set. Sorry, in here we can change into vertical dimension from this point to here. We can set into zero. Okay, so it will be moved into middle point of uh, this edge. The next we can close, and then we can use pet tools to extrude. We can click reverse, and I will set length into 14. You can click OK. You can select uh, this surface and then we can change refine into true. You can click here, change into true. Okay, we can select again at this face and we can create sketch. In here, I will create circle. You also can select at uh, this face. Okay, you can create circle from the center point, move into here, or you can. Click at this point in uh, this uh, edge. Okay, it will be unsolved. Okay, you can undo. You can do it manual. Okay, I will cut circle from the center point. And we can use uh, these tools. You can set for radius into 20. The next, you can click close. 
Now in here we can use pet tools to extrude with the extrusion tree. Click OK. The next I will use mirror this object. Can use the mirror tools. I will select this pet for the last pet. Okay, you can click OK. For vertical axis, you can click reference and we can select models and choose datum plan. So to be moved into this point, you can click. Okay, to apply. You also can select these objects and change refine into true. Okay. The last we can create holes. You can select up this face. Then you can click create sketch. In here we can use uh, this tool. Select up this edge and we can create circle. Start from the center point. We can set radius into 16. Set into 16 for radius. Sorry, in here we can set into 16, this okay. Uh, in here we can set into 12, okay. We can set radius into 12. You here and set into 12. Press okay. And you can click close. Now we can use these pocket tools. We can length, set length into 25. So it will be quite holes in here. And if you done, you can click okay. Now we already create this uh, simple 3D models for exercise number 9 with uh, FreeCAD software. And if you have any question about this tutorial, you can comment below this video.